dessert time and panna cotta has to be one of my favourite all time desserts and really easy to make. Milk. A little bit of sugar. Just to give it that extra little bit of flavour, a vanilla bean. Now I'm going to cut it in half, don't want to make it too strong. Cut it down and just scrape a few of the little beans out and put it into our milk. Just mix it around a little bit. Now we want this to just come to the boil, or just before the boil, and we're going to add our gelatin. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that to heat, I've just got some strawberries here. So just cover the strawberries in sugar and let them marinate. What will happen is the sugar and the heat, the sugar will start to dissolve and the strawberries will start to get mushy and they release all this beautiful juice. So we end up with a strawberry soup. Right, so our milk is right at the temperature we want it to be. Just gonna grab our gelatin that's been soaking. As you can see, that's nice and soft. Just get all the excess water out of it and just put it into our milk and make sure it all dissolves. It's gonna fold through our yogurt. Now that it's all dissolved, to make it easier on yourself, just put it into a pourer. And just into some moulds. And what I've done with these moulds, I've just quickly oiled them, like a really light oil. It makes it easy to get them out once they're set. Now this should take about an hour or so to set, just in a nice cold fridge. Now here's our panna cotta, exactly two hours in the fridge. You can see they're nice and firm, but they're not too rubbery. Now to plate it up, really simple. We've got these strawberries that we macerated before with a little bit of sugar, and you can see the sugar's dissolved, the strawberries have started to break down with this beautiful soup. Remember, I oiled these panna cottas earlier, so they should be really easy to get out. We're just going to break the seal on the top and get a little bit of air in behind it. Perfect. Look at that. Still a nice wobble on it. Not too firm. What we're going to do, some fresh berries around the outside. Some blackberries. Blueberries. And some beautiful raspberries. A little bit of mint. Just to give it a little bit of colour and just a little bit of extra flavour. Now with our soup, I'm just going to pour that ever so carefully around the outside. Perfection. Vanilla bean and yogurt panna cotta, fresh strawberry soup and fresh berries.